about 2,000 years ago, there was a group of friends hanging out and just having dinner. And one of them was trying to tell the others something. He was trying to make them understand what was about to happen. And I don't think they got it. And I'm not sure if we were there, if we would get it either. But he is explaining to them, he's saying, as you eat, as we break bread, like that bread is a part of me. That bread is me. It'll be broken for you. And that wine that we're all sharing, that's my blood. And it's about to be poured out for you. And I don't think they fully understood it. They, they were just hanging out and... Jesus was always telling stories. Jesus was always uh, trying to teach them something. But at that moment, I'm not sure if they got it completely. And then they left and they went in the middle of the night to Gethsemane, a place where um, they were just going to take some time to pray. But for Jesus, it was a lot more than that. And he is praying to the point where his body is aching out for what's about to happen. And he's asking God to stay with him, God, his father to stay with him. And then he prays for his disciples. He prays for all those who are on earth at that time who've come before. And he also prays for you and for me. And during that time period, one of his friends, one of the people that he's been hanging out with, for three years, somebody that he's taught, someone who's, I'm sure, cried with and laughed with and joked with comes up and betrays him. And in that moment, things changed. Peter gets angry and Peter grabs his sword and chops off a soldier's ear. And Jesus, even in that moment, about to be arrested, about to be taken away from his friends, from his brothers, he takes time to heal that soldier's ear. And then after that, he's arrested and they don't see him for a little while. And the disciples during this time period, they are scared. They are terrified. They are tired. They are worn out. They are just trying to figure out what to do next. And they are all over the place. And a lot of times people say it's weird that we call it Good Friday because nothing good happened on that day. But I want to let you know that the Messiah, the Savior of mankind, he died on that day. But his story doesn't end there. And that's what makes it good.